Suspect under arrest following that police pursuit that took law enforcement across multiple parts of the Phoenix area today. This was on every freeway in the valley. It ended safely near I-10 and 48th Street. Fox 10 Stephanie Bennett joins us live at the scene now to run us through a crazy day out on the Phoenix freeways. Yeah, crazy indeed. This is exactly where that pursuit came to an end. Police used a grappler, which is basically a device that wraps around the suspect's tire and safely brings them to a stop. Tonight, we spoke with the inventor of that device, who says he's pretty proud at how his hard work paid off today. The technique used was textbook. The perfect scenario and perfect execution of the grappler. It was a job well done for the Phoenix Police Department as they ended an hours long police pursuit using this grappler system. The creator of the device lives in Peoria and says it was remarkable to see it in action. We've only had a few stories where some of the uses have been on like a dash cam. And so it's been limited, but for it to be live TV, it's pretty exciting. Stock created the grappler back in 2016 after being frustrated by the number of innocent people getting injured or killed during high speed pursuits. Now he can't produce them quick enough. It works by using a heavy duty nylon net that can be lowered from the front of the pursuing police vehicle. And with the touch of a button, the rear tire is lassoed, stopping it in its tracks. Police can then reel in their catch as shown today. When you have a vehicle, Several thousand pounds of steel traveling down the road with uh, an unpredictable suspect in there. Um, it's kind of important to stop the vehicle. The pursuit started around 2.30 p.m. when officers say the suspect's car was blocking the road near Cave Creek and Deer Valley Roads. The suspect was passed out with weapons and drugs inside. Police say the man woke up and started ramming the police cars, boxing him in, then took off. A helicopter kept an eye on him while detectives responded. After the grappler was deployed, less lethal rounds and a police canine was used to take the driver into custody. I just commend... Uh, Phoenix PD for being the leader when it comes to the grappler. They've used it the longest. Now, police say the driver will be booked later this evening and as the investigation continues. Reporting live in Phoenix, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.